All right, this is a Lister stable mate. Um, they're for usually cutting cattle. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and look at this. Um, first thing is I want to check is this cam. It's nice and tight, like it should be, so that's good. Um, make sure you can spin it. Watch it, don't turn it on while your fingers in there, it's gonna hurt. So there's a... So there's a dead spot in the cord, we'll just break this down and take it apart. So here's the cord, um, probably has a kink in it and just got to cut it down and splice it back on here and uh, we'll clean the motor while we're at it and check the brushes. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. You can see the brushes, they're still good. Um, the armature doesn't have any damages, so that's good. So what I do to clean this is I get this spinning. Okay, so I cleaned the motor out, got all the hair out of the field by spinning it and then blowing it out and see now that's nice and clean um, that's the commutator you don't want it all burnt um, because it'll end up shorting out and ruining your armature but um, anyway so let's get back to business once again guys you don't pay me just to change parts I diagnose this whole clipper so I make sure it works when it leaves here. Um, I am human and sometimes mistakes do happen, but very rare, very rare. But anyway, let's finish this up. This is a, a reset switch, so when this clipper gets too hot, this blows. And if it keeps blowing, um, something's probably wrong with your clipper. So I see where the bend is, so it's right there. So what I'm going to do is cut it off. Splicing this wire so I can reattach it. Basically, yeah, let's put it back together. That's a cord repair and a cleaning of the motor. Um, I recommend getting them cleaning cleaned every at least every six months. Uh, it keeps the carbon out of there and keeps these things running at full speed. You don't want to get dead spots in your armature, and then uh, it runs slow speed and not start up sometimes. Uh, check and see if the gear is cracked, um, which it is not. So well, that's good. You gotta move all the debris and you see no cracks so that's good uh, if there's cracks in here you're gonna have to replace that thing or it's gonna make a lot of noise 
and it will pretty soon stop working once the, it loses the teeth. seal back in or it's gonna squirt air out of the shroud here you want to make sure it doesn't do that I'm gonna clean this gear cleaned up I cleaned up the gear and re-oil the bearings and such uh, you want to do this or uh, you'll run into problems and it'll be really noisy a little lube around the gear our first mister yay all right keep them coming into me i can sharpen big blades um and the prices are on my website look it up www.diamondedge2015.com uh email or text me um if you need any questions or need to know what to do i have demonstrational videos on how to ship um sh ship them in and i'll ship them out after they're fixed all right, see y'all later.